Biologists who study B.C. salmon farming industry say a potentially deadly virus is infecting Pacific salmon and they are pointing to fish farms as the source. A student conducted a Simon Fraser University, a study rather, conducted by a Simon Fraser University professor was released this morning and it includes a dramatic prediction about the future of our wild salmon stocks. But as CTV's Gord Kerbis reports, the fish farming industry says the information in that study is suspect and shouldn't be taken at face value. And we've been writing letters to the minister. They come armed with information they say shows BC's wild salmon and herring are in danger. The threat from a virus never before seen in BC waters. This is like, you know, a cancer diagnosis in a family member. It's that shocking. We have no idea what we've done out there. Biologist Alexandra Morton shared her warning today at a press conference in Vancouver. She says the virus called infectious salmon anemia or ISI was first discovered in Norway in 1984. It's now made its way into BC waters. Did Nicole pick the, the only two wild salmon in the Pacific that have ISA, or are there millions of them out there? The local discovery was made by researchers from Simon Fraser University. Professor Rick Routledge says the only plausible source for this strain of ISI is from farms raising Atlantic salmon. This influenza type virus has been described as highly contagious and lethal. But this afternoon in Campbell River, a representative of a major salmon farming company says today's press conference was actually held to dramatically frame a problem that doesn't really exist. It's unfortunate that we weren't uh, talked to about it before uh, it, it went through that sort of process, because you can see that there's obviously an objective to, to stir up a controversy when there really isn't one there. Stuart Hawthorne says tests conducted by BC salmon farmers has never uncovered the virus. It has been more than 4,700 fish sampled over just the last eight years right. from farms and using PCR which is a very very sensitive uh, test uh, the same similar test to what has been used here and they've never detected ISA in any farm the BC Salmon Farmers Association says it will be following up with the Canadian Food Inspection Agency. The agency is said to be reviewing the validity of these results. Meanwhile, the individual salmon farming operators are also looking into the situation, trying to find out exactly how these new results were arrived at. We've only just heard of this through a press release, unfortunately, rather than being involved in a discussion. So it's, uh, it's, you know, it's far too early for us to be saying what we want to look at to get this sorted through and to work out what our response should be in terms of investigations. Morton herself is also hoping for further study, saying not enough is known yet of exactly how harmful the virus will be. This virus does impact uh, herring. We don't know if it can infect oolikins. We don't know anything about it. Gord Kerbis, CTV News.